guys, it's Charlotte from Crafting Through the Chaos of Life. Thanks so much for joining me for another video. I honestly didn't think I was going to make it here today, you guys. Um, I'm not sure if you saw my community post, but I have really been struggling with my anxiety lately. I have a lot going on at work and at home and had a major panic attack um, Friday. And um, I also have developed some really fun, interesting new things. Um, one being uh, a weird tick. Um, so when I get incredibly um, anxious or upset, I have this tick that kind of takes over. Um, it's like this weird twitch in my head neck thing. Anyways, with all that, um, I am just so incredibly to be happy back in my craft room because that's where I find I am the most calm and grounded and can get myself centered. So I want to thank you all very much for being here, for subscribing to my channel. I know um, it's not like the professional channels out there. Um, I can't strive to be that because that's not who I am. But yeah, I'm just so very thankful and grateful for every single one of you uh, who are here and watching. So again, thank you. But let's get into today. Um, we are all about our Create This Book and the Postcard Challenge. It is Sunday, so I want to get that done. And yeah, let's get into it. Let's not worry about anything else and let's just get our groove on for creating. All right, so last time, um, so we've got our week one, which was the self-portrait, which <laughs> just every time I see it, it makes me laugh. Um, and then last week we did the black and white doodle challenge. And, um, you know, I wasn't really in love with this when I originally did it, but like I said, walk away and come back, and I think it's actually kind of cool. It, it makes me happy when I look at it. So there is that for the postcard project. And then create this book. Again, This these two things I purchased off of Amazon, and I purchased them last year because I am doing the 365 No Buying Craft Supplies Challenge. And what are we at here? We're at day 22, guys, and I'm doing really well. I have no urge to buy anything. Um, yeah, I've just, I, I, again, I have so much stuff, so it's not, not an issue right now. So stay tuned. Who knows? Like I said, I could be having a meltdown in a couple weeks if I don't have just the right craft supply. Um, this Create This Book, uh, we did week one. And we did this really fun little collage. It says create without thinking. Do something to this page without thinking. Do it quickly. Do not plan. And I just did a quick collage. And then last week, it was funny because I got Doodle again um, in, within the two projects. It was Doodle, so it was obviously meant to be. And I just doodled uh, these little designs. Again, I'm not looking for a masterpiece. It was just something fun to do. And again, you know, didn't really love this when, when I did it at the time, but I walked away and came back. And I'm like, that's actually pretty, pretty cool, pretty fun. Uh, again, the bees make me smile. So let's get into it. Let's start with our postcard project. And I like to just flip. I don't want to pre-plan anything. I just want to flip through. So flipping and I'm going to stop here. And this is draw out a game board of your life so far. <laughs> oh my God. Really? Oh, you guys. Okay. So it just makes me think of a game of life and I suck at that game to begin with and not doing really much better at the real game of life so there's that okay so we're gonna draw a game of our life okay um, let's do this one let's flip through and we're gonna stop here and this one is create a dedication dedicate this page to something write about it draw it attach pictures of it I blank dedicate this page to and then subject of dedication oh my god could these get any harder <laughs> like I was really hoping for something oh, fun well not that this isn't fun but this is I feel like it might be a little more brain taxing than I might be capable of but that's okay let's go with it as always I'm going to start with a postcard because it's a smaller surface and it seems to Seems to be kind of a little easier to manage right off the start here. So I'm just going to get rid of this. A little perforation. I don't really want it. So I hope you guys are doing well and that you're in your craft rooms. And that everyone is, yeah, just, I just hope you're all doing well. Okay. Draw out a game board of your life so far. Okay, so when I think of a game board, 
I think of, let's see, so I kind of picture, where would start be? I guess start might be up over here, but then I feel like I don't want things to go downhill. Does that make sense? I don't want it to go down. I want it to go up because things should always look up in my mind. So let's have start down here somewhere. So I'm just going to write start. And then it'll take its maybe this crazy little path winding around, around. I mean, we'll do finish up here. That just kind of seems logical in my mind. Okay, I'm not sure how this is all going to go. I might have to speed up the video. Um, because I, it might not be exciting to watch the whole thing, but let's just try to go through this. Okay, so there's the first line, and then I feel like the game board would go like this. It's probably not not the best. Let's try that again. <laughs> kind of want it to be somewhat spaced. So the reason why I am doing this sort of challenge as opposed to the Marguerite Miller and other challenges that are out there, not that I'm not going to try any of the other challenges, I just honestly, oh, I don't like that, um, I honestly just thought this was really challenging and unique and that's what I needed. I feel like I need that to kind of stretch my creativity and a lot of other people are doing those those Marguerite Miller challenges and other things so I kind of thought I don't really see a lot of these out there so why not right be a little different. Don't always have to do what everybody else is doing you can make your own way do your own thing Okay, again, I'm not trying to have this be a masterpiece at all. Um, just trying to have fun, let go, not overthink things. I feel like sometimes we forget to let our brain um, think like a child. And I think thinking like a child is one of the most creative things we can do. So I'm just going to embrace my inner child. And this is kind of what I thought. Okay. So, um, and we got to have like little, I guess, spots that you would move along, along the way. Um, and my, where I am so far, oh my gosh, where am I? I don't even know you guys. Okay. Finish. Um, Okay, so I kind of feel like, draw out a game board of your life so far. Okay, so this would obviously be birth. So let's draw some. I guess little stops along the way, little places you would land. And this is not going to be, not going to be perfect, but that's not what we're striving for, is it? Just having fun. Um, what sort of things have happened throughout my life? <laughs> oh, um, ones that I can share anyways. This is really sad. It's a good thing I'm embracing this childhood thing because it looks like a child drew this. But that's okay. I think children's art is honestly the most real. I just love children's perspective and when they draw. Okay, so I was born um, then we can say school um, then we can say maybe graduate And then, um, let's say, <laughs> um, I feel like
like these need to be bigger so I can write in them. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Uh, failed relationship. Go back three spaces. I don't know. I mean, obviously this is not... I'm going to have to rethink this board a bit, maybe. This is a hot mess. Um, and in here... One, two, three, okay. <laughs> then maybe it'll be start career. Um, get married. This is definitely like the game of life, isn't it? Um, then have kids. Um, so I'm born, go to school, graduate, fail the relationship, go back through spaces, start career, get married, have kids. Uh, draw the game board of your life so far. Um, Find your passion. Um, oh my gosh, you guys, this is really hard. Um, okay, I was born, I went to school, graduate, failed relationship, start the career, get married, have kids, find your passion. Um, what else? And then where I am right now. Um, that's, this is really a tough one for the mental space I'm in. Um, let's say, yeah, so I can say start. YouTube channel. Oh, and then I can say I have 600 plus subscribers because I'm super excited about that. Okay, so that's kind of it planned out. Um, I should have planned that out on a scrap piece of paper first but that's okay and then so I'm gonna draw over here by having kids I'm gonna draw two boys I should probably attach the head to the body let's try that again two boys and a girl And then get married, maybe we could have two rings. One's like a little diamond ring, maybe. Um, start career, so that is, I could have, um, I was kind of thinking of like the scales of justice, because I work as a legal assistant. But, um, that's kind of hard for me to draw, maybe. I don't know. Draw two little scales. Is that? Yeah, I guess that's kind of, kind of like a scale. Okay. Um. So we'll do a broken heart here for failed relationship. <laughs> Graduate. Um. So I guess like a graduation cap. Draw there. Um, school, I feel like I could just draw a ruler maybe. 
born. Um, um, don't really have find your passion. I feel like I need to draw a book there for journals. I'm just crafting all together and then start your YouTube channel. That kind of feels like it needs a play button. Okay, and then 600 plus subscribers, that gives me a big happy face. Um, okay, so I'm going to come back to this and I'm going to finish um, drawing it all up and coloring it in and then I'll show you guys the finished piece on this one because this is going to take a long time to kind of go through and and fix up so that's kind of what I've got started here in my little game of life and then I'll add maybe some other little pictures along the way um, yeah okay so there's that one I've got a good start on that one and then this one oi. create a dedication um, You know, I, this is going to sound probably really weird. I mean, I have a lot of people that I could dedicate this page to. Sorry, I'm just trying to get this alligator clip to help me keep this book open. I don't know if it's going to work, but okay. Um, I am actually, I want some colorful markers. Hang on, let me grab some fun markers over here. these metallic ones from um, a shop here in Calgary called Central Discount Warehouse. Um, those are fun. Maybe we'll do that. And let's see what else I have here. Um, let's, uh, I got a black gel pen. Okay, I think this is good. So, my favorite color is purple. So I shall I dedicate this page to Myself. I am going to dedicate this page to myself. Um, write about it, draw it, attach pictures of it here. So I am going to put things down that make me happy. What makes me happy? So I'm going to actually grab my sticker book, I think, because I haven't used that in a while. Um, what else could I do? So I've got some stickers here. Um, I might also, oh, what could I do? Let's just see here. Um, I'm going to pause you guys for a quick sec because there's a picture that I want to print out and I'll be right back. Okay, so I printed off a few pictures uh, that I like. Um, one is this plate. Uh, this is a picture of a plate of when uh, what, what my parents got or I think my grandma might have given it to my, my parents. Um, but it's got my name. Um, I was four pounds, 15 ounces, and when I was born. So I'm gonna put that on here. I'm gonna glue that down. And then what else do I have? So this is a picture of a tattoo, my very first tattoo, my only tattoo that I got. It's a little bit faded now, but um, I really like the saying. It's a saying that my grandmother used to say. She was 108 when she passed away, and I asked her one day what the secret of a long life is, and she said, think a lot, say a little. So I got that tattooed on my arm and I somehow want to incorporate that. 
And then these are some of the favorite pictures of my kids. Look at these boys. This is when we were on the a Disney cruise. They had little makeovers and they got to look like little captains of the ship. Oh, they were so adorable in their little shorts and outfits and hats. Oh my gosh. And then this is a picture of my daughter Alexis. This is her getting ready to go on a daddy-daughter date night. My husband took her out for um, a special dinner night, just the two of them. And um, so this is obviously quite a while ago because they are now, Arden is now 14, Leighton is 12, and Lexi is 11, so um, obviously a lot older now. But So I thought I'd play around with some of those, and then we'll put some stickers in. Oh, I just totally wrecked this book. Did I really, though? Is it really that big of a deal, Shala, that it's got a rip in it? Probably not, but let's, I'm going to grab some washi tape just to cover that, because that makes me sad that there's a rip in the book. would be nice. Okay, might pull, out, might pull out some more washi tape as we go along here, but let's see if I can fix that. I need a, I don't need, let's get this straight, I don't need, I want a book weight. I think I'm going to make one. Okay, so I'll put that down and then I'm just going to Use some washi over top of that, and I think I think we're going to have to use glue as well. So this is great because I love these roses. It reminds me of my grandma Heinemann's. Well, she loved pink carnations, but the pink reminds me of her. And then there's these beautiful kind of purplish flowers, which I love purple. And there's more purple over there, but let's just use this. And we are going to use some glue stick because this is not going to stay on this page without a little bit of help. So I should be using a glue book for this, but that's fine. So this page I'm dedicating to myself and my favorite things. Okay. So this down like that. That's pretty. And then maybe I think I want to round the corners of this like so. Let's try that again. Okay, and I could put her there. Um, I, ooh. <laughs> oh, don't you hate that? Have you ever done that? You go to pull your sleeve up and your arm slips and you punch yourself right in the boob. Oh my god, I hate that. I do that more times than I really care to want to admit to tell, to tell you the truth. I'm constantly like smacking myself. Okay, so... We'll get this glued down and then I'll pause the video again and I'm going to finish up my game board. I'm, I've been kind of thinking about that one. But um, I'll show you how I end up doing that. It's going to take a bit of time and I think um, trying to video it, like the whole process of me trying to do it, is not going to be something very exciting for you guys. I think maybe just showing you the final final project is probably the best way to go about that. Um, I want some more washi tape. I don't think I want this stuff. I think I want something else. What else do I have to play with? Lord knows I have lots. What am I feeling like? I had some really nice stuff that I tend not to Fine, and I wonder if my daughter snuck off with it. It's kind of like a vintagey looking one. Um, it's like vintage ladies. I can't find it. Um. Hmm. Okay, we'll have these. Actually, maybe I'll put this down because this kind of reminds me of like book page and reading. 
And I kind of like that there's the F there for my last name, Frank. Yeah, let's put that down. Now this book is a little hard to work in. I wish it was kind of on like rings. It's a little easier to open, but oh well. Okay. This is fun. This is fun just to play around. So yeah, I like this because it's got words. So, so F for Frank, G for my husband Gary. There's some music notes in there. I like music and kind of book pagey stuff reading. And we can put the boys there and around the corners of them as well. Gosh, they were so stinking adorable, you guys, on that cruise. Oh my goodness. If there was one moment I had to go back and relive, um, it would be definitely that trip. Um, you know, there was some hard times because it was hard for the kids to, you know, um, kind of remember to be quiet on the on the boat because, you know, you, you don't want to disturb anybody else. And poor little Lexi, um, she had didn't really know how to regulate her emotions so sometimes that could have been frustrating but all in all it was such a good time okay um, so I have written down myself but I also want to write down myself and my favorite things so I'm going to write myself I've got that so I shall dedicate this place to dedicate this page to myself and then here I'm going to write and my favorite things. Okay, got that. And so this was kind of some favorite memories. And this is going to go down here. Ooh, I just left enough room. Okay, so, um, you know, I think I actually want some book page behind that. I do, I do. What do I have in the old scrap bag here? be good. This is just some dictionary, vintage dictionary page. That'll give it a little something. A little something something. Um, I do want to ink. Okay. Um, <laughs> Let's glue this guy down. Try not to overthink, just trying to get stuff down. Ooh, and I want to get that tattoo picture on there as well. Okay, let's put this here. And then this here. I need to ink up the edges of this. That was tiny. Only four pounds, 15 ounces. Okay. I'll just stick this on here. I want to also see if I can get an owl on there. See if I can find an owl sticker. Okay. This goes here. I mean, it's not going to be the best collage, but it's all stuff that makes me smile, so that's all that really matters, doesn't it? It's just for me to look at. It's not like I'm putting it in a museum for people to, to gawk at all day long. Um, this, I need to... 
Let me cut this down. <laughs> it's kind of an odd shape, but that's okay. struggling with this one. Maybe because it's an odd shape. Oh. Oh. This is tougher than I thought. I think I'm going to put it down there. I don't think it really looks super in any particular place, but I do want to get it down. Okay. Oh, there we go. Okay. Now, is there... I need to learn how to clean up better picture or a sticker of an owl or something. I love owls. Oh, look, an owl. He's cute. Let's go with him. Come here, my friend. I'm going to find you a new home in this book. I think you want to go right there. Yes, you do. Okay. I need something right there. What else do we have? Let's see. Let's go back to that antiquarian sticker book again. I'm sure you guys know you can find this off of Amazon. No secret there. Um, these are pretty. Let's do this butterfly. Yeah, let's just do that. <laughs> uh, again, this book keeps falling over. I don't like that. Okay, so not the most, like, intriguing collage ever. But... It's mine. It's got some kind of purple, light purple in the background, so, and purple's my favorite color. All right, well that's not too bad. Yeah, I think that's cute. That will do. I mean, there's probably a lot more I could have done, but again, this is just, just trying to get the creative juices flowing. So there, this one's done. So I am just going to pause and I'm going to wrap my head around the rest of this game board. I also want to make sure that I leave a space. So I'm just going to actually open this up. And I want to just trace where the hole is going to be on this. And then that way I make sure I don't put anything where that hole is going to go. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna put this on and I'm gonna show you guys the before. So this is the before. Okay, this is just kind of my outline sketch idea and get ready I'm going to show you the after 
Okay guys, so I have finished. I ended up changing the style of my game board just a little bit. Um, I made it just so it was easier to get kind of better sized squares. So I used a, a ruler and kind of made that out. And then I decided, you know what? I didn't want to focus on anything negative, but I wanted to focus on kind of key points of my life. Of course, lots of things have happened on here that I have not documented, but let's <laughs> kind of take a look here. So at the start I have my date of birth. Um, I started kindergarten in September 1982. I graduated high school in 1995. I started my legal career in 2003 in January and I also have a heart there because that's where I met my husband. Um, I do have a sad little face here. Uh, December 10th 2004 I lost my dad to cancer. Um, February 2017, this is a little house. Um, we bought our house, built our house. In June of 2008, we got married. Uh, 2008, that November, we had our first son, Arden. And then August 7th, 2010, we had our next son, Layton. And then July 7th, 2011, we welcomed our baby girl, Alexis. June 12, 2018, I uploaded my first video, card making video, to YouTube. Uh, March 9th, 2021 was my first journal video. Uh, January 2023, I hit um, 600 subbies, um, which is so amazing. And then we finish off today, which is January 22nd, 2023. Along the way, I have wrote friends, dreams, learning, family, travel, and fun. So again, you can go as great into detail of this as you want. I just kind of hit some key points. Again, I realized, um, you know, I did have on my original sketch um, some negative things like, you know, failed relationships and stuff, but I decided, you know what, I'm going to focus on the positive things that happened. Um, um, even though I do have this one little sad moment, this was a very um, key moment in my life. So I, I did want to recognize um, that. So there's that one. So if we take a look, I'm going to actually gonna, let's add this to my little ring here. Oh goodness. And then I always write the date on the bottom. And so this one, I just, I have the finished date up here, January 22nd, 2023. So I don't need to write the date on there because um, it's already as part of the the main scene, if you will. So, I mean, I probably could have done a whole lot of different things and you can as well on your own, but you know what, for a quick little snapshot, just to kind of get me in the groove of, of creating again, that was, it was fun. So that, there is that. And then we have our, our page of, where are you? There it is. So create a dedication, dedicate this page to something, write about it, draw it, attach it, pictures of it here. So I shall dedicate this page to myself and my favorite things. So um, yeah, just some of my favorite things on here, I think that it's kind of cute. I mean, it doesn't have to be, um, like I said, museum worthy. It's just kind of something for me to look back on and reflect on. And yeah, some of my favorite things um, and stuff about me. Um, it was great. I just, yeah, these pictures of my kids just make me so happy. And then, yeah, this, you know, where I started off, um, something important to me. Yeah, it just, it just, it means something to me. It's not going to mean anything to anybody else. And that's kind of the point of this is just you do kind of what, what you like, what works for you. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. Um, again, I'm sorry that the mood is kind of low. Um, I'm getting there. I'm getting there, guys. Um, and I do appreciate you understanding. And yeah, the next video will be a lot of, a lot more fun. Um, I do have um, some ideas. I want to do a video about just using um, items like found items or items that I have and not necessarily things that you have to purchase so all you're really going to need for the next video hopefully is just some scissors glue uh, and then whatever you have laying around so stay tuned for that video that will be coming up hopefully in the next couple days here all right guys thanks so much for joining me I wish you all a fantastic rest of your day and p.s. 
I love you.